an awesome partner that we have. I bet you welcome Carson to our live Carrie Madison, right? Yeah. 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 Carrie Madison, woo! Woo! <laughs>
don't take our water directly from the river. It's from shallow wells that get a little bit filtered naturally, but we still are, it's still impacted by the river and what we do on the surface impacts um, the water quality and how much money we have to put into it. As a state, statewide, our streams are really polluted. And basically what we're finding is that the more we go out and sample streams, they get on this, this state list called the impaired waters list, which isn't a good thing to be on, but it's more of an educational piece to, to let everybody know that, okay, once we go out there and start sampling, we're seeing that our environment isn't good. We've had, we've had bad effects on our environment, so we need to move forward. Um, Politically wise, if you want to get on the, the impaired waters list, because then you can get funded. So if you're interested in, in knowing about grant writing and looking at funds for how do we fund water sampling and what do we do after that, I'm very interested in writers. Um, they have an environmental twist that can look for, for some money to move some of these projects forward. Portions of the Cedar River are impaired. There's some streams in town, like the Cloud Run is impaired, Morgan Creek is impaired. Um, Prairie Creek is, is not known because we haven't sampled it. That's on my horizon. It'd be nice to have that sampled. And so McLeod right now, I'm really focusing on that. McLeod is in the middle of town. It's a trout stream and it's had fish kills. There was a fish kill early this summer. Um, DNR came out and tried to figure out why the fish died, and there's just so many things in town. It's kind of a runoff from everywhere is impacting these fish. Um, so there's there's impaired waters all over the place, but we need to take it to the next step. Like I say, the first step is, is getting them on the list, and we need some more data to get to get all the streams on the list, so we can get funding. So if you're interested in this project, uh, you one of the things that Testing, sensor development, and placement, uh, and the actual building itself. And who knows, we may also take in some other crazy things that we don't need to run into the next few years. Um, as far as is anything else you want to add about the history of what you've been doing, maybe like the environmental permit, or what you should be doing there, or is it just me? Basically, this is all trial and error. I'd just like to say, if you have any interest at all, come talk to me and we'd be happy to talk about what the like full history is of the project. Super interesting, super long story. If you have any sort of interest, come talk to me. Hey, so 